One and one is two. But that's not always true. The goal for most is for one and one to become one. Because they feel like that bond can be undone and love can make that happen. That's the goal at least. But love at times can be an untamable beast. One and one is two. But that's not always true. At times one and one meet, but all they can be is an eleven. Just two digits colliding, doing their best to intertwine, hoping that love will step in as the glue to keep them together, but time isn't something that will leave impossible behind. Eleven will forever be two ones looking at each other in pain. Because they know regardless of what happens, they won't be one. One and one is two. But that's not always true. There are those special occasions when one and one become three. But if one wasn't ready for the addition, we get a subtraction. And then we're back to two. And now one will look for another one to get back to three. Because that one always has to carry the one. It has no other option but to. Math can get difficult with this one. One and one is two, but that's not always true. Sometimes one and one get together and promise to stay that way, but then one sneaks away like an underscore because one and one together can still make one feel lonely. And that creates an unnecessary situation called trigonometry, where the angle you look at things decide its value hiding behind its complicated as all certain formulas can do. And one and one is two, but that's not always true. Those wicked times when one and one equal Blank. Nothing but darkness. No answer. Just the equation. Just those two numbers on a page written as the perfect question. One you can only repeat over and over in the hopes that eventually the answer will come by itself. And the depths and the ink of that plus is so damn deep it breaks you. It keeps you. It holds you. It torments you. It comforts you. Five ones that still reside on one hand. One and one is two. That's not always true, Fino.